Welcome back into the Tell Me Moment as we continue to look at this great statement, this great opening statement of Scripture, which is absolutely impressive, stunning, and outstanding. That is Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. We have two questions that we have to address here, and that is, who created the universe? God. This is clearly stated, as as mentioned, as we mentioned this earlier, man is an inquisitive creature. And as mentioned, and I want you to understand, and he wants to know. He wants to know, therefore he has questions and questions and searches and searches for answers all the time. And when man looks at the world and he looks at himself, he wonders where he and the world have come from. And here's the second question. What is the origin of man and of the world? What is the origin of man and of the world? And remember, I told you the last time that there were three significant points okay, that need to be covered by this profound but simply stated phrase when he says, when he says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. First, the Hebrew word for God is Elohim. Now, this truth, the truth seen in the creation account is a stunning truth, okay? God is, God actually exists, and the universe has come from him. God, Elohim, is the great creator of the universe, the supreme intelligence and the power of creation. God is the majestic power who created the universe. This is the whole point of the creation account. To stress that God, God is the sovereign Lord. He is the sovereign Lord and the creator of the universe. Now glance back with me. Glance back to the scripture and scan the underline the, and underline the words. I want you to note how God is the subject of creation. It's not us. It's not the rest of creation. God is the subject of creation. How creation, how the creation account focuses upon God. The Bible unmistakably declares that God is God and he, he alone is the only living, the only living and true God. Now, I want you to understand a couple of things. God existed before the universe. God is the supreme intelligence who planned and purposed the universe. God is the sovereign power who created the universe. God is the only person who was living and he alone had the power to create the universe. Immediately before anything else is discussed, the Bible declares that God is, that he exists. The Bible stresses the undeniable truth that God truly exists and that he created the universe. It stresses this over and over again. The creation account mentions God's God time and again and again and again and a striking number of times it's mentioned. Quickly glance back to the scripture and note all of and note and underline all the words and all of the acts of God. If we just look at Genesis chapter one, just look at Genesis chapter one, declares that God created four times. He said that in verse one, verse twenty-one, verse twenty-seven, and verse uh, verse twenty-seven again. God said ten times. He said that in verse three, six, nine, eleven, fourteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. God saw. Seven times, verse 4, 10, 12, 18, 21, 25, and 31. God called three times, 5, 8, and 10. God, God made three times, that's verse 7, 16, and 25. God divided two times, that's 4 and 7. God blessed two times, that's verse 22 and 28. God said one time, verse 17, and God moved one time. That's in verse 2. This is what the creation account is about. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about the rest of creation. It's about God, what he did on that day. 